Hi everyone, welcome into Energy Upgrade. I'm Lisa Aubin. I am a certified feng shui professional. I own Cloud9 Feng Shui and I'm the co-founder with the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui, where we're kicking off our last training session, our last group training session of 2021 starting on August 4th. So don't delay if you've been planning all year and joining us. Now's the time to do that. We're not coming back for another group training until 2022. So you're here today by no mistake. If you just stumbled upon me and got some notification or a friend sent you a video, there's no mistake. You're in the right place. You're about to receive what I call an energy upgrade session. And it integrates the ancient modalities of Feng Shui, of Yi Jing, uh, working with all the beautiful modalities of using crystals and intention and also intuition, spiritual dowsing, integrating that along with quantum modalities as well to help restore, renew, recharge your energy for the week. And I'm tapping into the collective consciousness here, the cosmic energy around us. I've already gone ahead and consulted with the Yi Jing. So if you haven't already, put this video on pause, take a little break, get your brand new black ink pen out and your favorite notepad, or those of you that prefer gel ink, that's okay too. <laughs> get your notepad out and write out your intentions. What are you intending this week? Where are you in terms of your goals? and contemplate and sit with yourself for a minute and think about the energy that's around you. Turn back the video, um, turn it back on when you're ready to join me to receive this energy upgrade session, starting with the Yi Jing. So those of you who already have your intentions in mind, you've been with me for a while, let's get started and welcome back those who are joining after writing out your intentions. Okay. So I've consulted with the ancient Yi Jing to please tell me what is the energy surrounding those wishing to receive an energy upgrade in this third week of July and thank you. And so last week we did a lot of talk about self wisdom and inner knowledge, also taking care of ourselves, knowing when to stop. And that still feels like an underlying thread in this week's current cosmic energy, I will tell you that. So if you didn't heed any warnings about self-care, about slowing down your pace, <laughs> slowing your roll, to take an inner look and really ground yourself. Do keep up with yourself on that task. It is still important. You can't serve anyone else or move forward towards your goals on, unless you've done that work in, um, in making sure your energy is in the right place. But what I do want to say is I've tapped in with a lot of you. A lot of you have been checking in with me and you've been letting me know that, hey, you know, my problems or my issues or the challenges that are that are butting into my goals, they're going away a lot faster. They're resolving on their own. And that's all a part, and that's all in due part to your work in aligning and attuning with your energy. That means aligning with your mindset, with your with your space around you, and also with the energy of your goals. So when we're able to reset ourselves and align ourselves, things will correct themselves easier. We'll be able to get back to that place of clarity and that forward momentum that we like. So checking into this week's energy. Okay, so you're feeling it. I know some of you have been reaching out to me already. Um, yes, you've been so diligent and determined on your path towards your goal, but you still feel that Something is standing between you and success. So the Yi Jing advises that reform must take place uh, to keep you on stable footing into the next season just around the corner. So really, 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 as I was saying before, evaluate yourself first. Make, make sure you're not in your own way. Um, have you seen any signs or are you getting repetitious advice from several random people? <laughs> Um, these would be some indications that reform is needed on your part. You need to accept that this reform is needed so you can move forward. Uh, this is also a hexagram reform um, that will appear in a legal situation. So think really about internally how can reform be made 
um, to help resolve the issue at hand so that you can move forward. And this is impacting all of your goals and your intentions. So yes, reform is needed at this time, but we're on the precipice of returning. So we're shifting into a new cycle and closing another yet again in our life. So we don't wanna repeat the same things that we've been trudging through. I know a lot of you have been putting a lot, a lot of work in and ready to get to this next phase. And it really seems to be coming to um, a head in this, uh, and again, I'm not an astrologer. I have lots of friends who work in astrology and are really tapped in, tuned into that energy. So I feel like this is all lining up with cancer. So this season um, of cancer, the full moon we're coming up on is a lot of heavy energy. We've been through a lot of emotional energy. I can't dismiss that there's some truth in astrology. So we don't wanna be repeating these patterns again in our lifetime. Let's move past them. Let's resolve this reform that we need to uh, do to make shifts and some changes look into your life what is no longer serving you why are you repeating patterns if they're not working um it doesn't have to be hard right we say this all the time if you scroll back and look at the previous weeks the simple way is sometimes the best way the most fun way is sometimes the best way we don't need to trudge through our days and um it's been trying and challenging and we really want this to close up we want to elevate to the next level so getting to this next place and bringing forth this reform that we've been challenged with at this very moment in this week, the third week of July, is going to help us be more equipped and more intelligent as we move forward so we can have more confidence. We know what we're doing. You have that intuition, okay? So there you go. There's your Ancient I Ching reading. Let me know if it resonates with you. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. I do these energy upgrade great sessions each and every week and sometimes I throw another video in there with some fun tips or some information about the intrinsic school of feng shui so you can learn more about me check out the link provided in my profile and I do want to share with you that I have done some quantum energy work and you are receiving it on the other side of this virtual session I'll share a little bit with it with you right now so I did uh, run a recommended um, uh, scan on our energy and I've run a light panel yes therapy and a dispenser and as always I did a little work on our emotional aura so these are the empowering words of wisdom I would like you to write these down and think about them again if you're coming across my channel this is the first time you're receiving an energy upgrade it's by no mistake let me know what these empowering words of wisdom mean to you um, so this is a negative issue, it's a trait um, of self that we're dealing with, starting with no, but however, in how we're speaking, okay? And there's lots of other things that filter in beneath that in our emotional aura field that could be things that we contribute to or that we're picking up in all of our layers of our subconscious. So the law of polarity, look for what is good in all things, as it can only exist because of what is bad in all things. Without the good, we can't have the bad and vice versa. We can't have the light without the dark. What does this mean to you? And perhaps starting with no, but however, when you're in a conversation. And again, there's lots of other things that were picked up in our emotional aura field that were being harmonized. Some of these things might resonate with you directly. Removal of thoughts that you are held or possessed by an abuser or persecutor starting with you are wrong here's how you do it accessing the freedom to express myself without defenses being jealous and promoting discontent so these issues have been harmonized i will run it again as i'm talking and wrapping up this session just to bring about any any more harmonious vibes i can to help sure up any leaks that you might have in your aura field i did run the yes therapy as well um, which is very, very helpful. I've also run the dispenser. And I'm gonna go ahead and just run it. So things that were picked up in the dispenser dealing with, um, and I'll scroll through them. These are things that, I'm not a doctor, but this software, this quantum software, picks up things that 
Um, if you can imagine a team of experts in all of the um, Chinese medicine sciences, so on and so forth, essential oils are even in here that are being sent to help with our energy right now in this moment and boy do we need a lot <laughs> so i'm just scrolling through them some of them are going to resonate with you immediately i'm going to let that run okay for that full hour helping support our immunity as well and let's see what else oh our feng shui <laughs> feng shui tip of the day say that 10 times fast so to help carry forth this energy, I'm talking again about earth energy, but the energy I'm talking about is in this area that is um, health and well-being, holistic health and well-being, related to the Tao of all things, of our life force energy and Chi. It's connected with the ruling earth element of earth, and um, colors symbolic of this energy are yellow and earth tones primarily. And it's in the very center of your home, so identify that place is very easy. Uh, again, we always like to align our Bagua energy map when we're practicing the Western Feng Shui or Black Sect, Tibetan Buddhist Feng Shui. We always align this energy map with the architectural main front door on the bottom of it, either um, aligning the wall containing the door with this bottom edge here. So the center of your home Mine is mostly, um, the center contains a good portion of my kitchen. Very easy for me to do some work in here with some crystals that represent earth. Um, also yellows, easy to bring in a yellow. I love yellow bouquets um, to bring into this place as well. But you know what creates earth? Fire. So it's a great place to do any um, burning rituals to create earth, light some candles. And especially as we're going into this full moon, um, to really set your intentions, to stoke up the power of your health and well-being, to support you and carry forth the energy that we talked about in our Yi Jing reading. So again, remember self-care is still an important theme, but here we want to really sit with ourselves and think about from a place of love, are we standing in our own way on our path, um, on our life path journey, whatever our goals and intentions may be, and time to make some reform. So let's set those new intentions, really integrating them. Again, some people find it helpful to write it down in cursive, really deeply visualize these intentions and this goal that you're trying to achieve and um, and use a mantra. So try my favorite mantra. If you wanna hear it repeated time and time again, you can Google for it on YouTube. Om Mani Padme Hom, hail to the jewel in the lotus. And repeat it nine times. That is integrating body, right? Spirit, right? And our space and placing the item of earth element within that space and activating it. Again, if you don't want to add more earth, you can bring in fire that creates earth without adding in the earth element. That is the feng shui tip for today to help stabilize and continue for the energy that you've received in this energy upgrade session. If you enjoyed this, if you have questions, please continue to contact me through the link in my profile or if you're starting to feel comfortable, let's start a chat below in the video. Let me know how your week's going. Let me know how July's going. If you know anything about this cancer energy, feel free to share it. Again, thank you so much. I'm Lisa Albin with Cloud9 Feng Shui and the Intrinsic School of Feng Shui, and I will see you next week. Many blessings times nine.